Last time on our boat story, we passed the town of Aurelia on Lake Simcoe. Join us today as we continue on the Trans Severn Waterway to Duck Bay on Sparrow Lake. Aloha, we are Sava, Cynthia, and Alex, along with our two dogs, Lucy and Shadow. We're traveling America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile North American waterway from Florida to Canada and back down via the Mississippi. Follow us on this journey on our boat called Mahalo. Feels like we're still in the Thousand Islands and we might as well be, right? I mean, because it's island after island after island and houses on the islands. There you see two red chairs on a dock and it just looks so inviting. Of course, today we got such a blue sky. Everything's looking beautiful again. But if we look down, you might not be able to see it, but I can see the bottom clearly right below us. Not that deep. Aurelia, right behind us. Aloha, so we're coming to the end of Lake Coochie Ching, which is on the north side of um, Aurelia. And uh, as we look up ahead, we see the um, buoys uh, that look like a racetrack, um, red and green, and it gets narrow and narrow, and that's where it goes into the Trent Severn Canal. Now our buddies are up there in the Carla Bay and uh, they are stuck at a railroad swing railroad bridge been over there for over an hour. So we'll see um, how that works out for us. Hope we don't have to spend the night there, but um, I was reading some of the reports and yes, some people have waited two hours and some more uh, waiting for that bridge to open. So we'll see how that works out, but beautiful day, um, beautiful day up here on the lake. We've seen a few boats out here, not too many, not too much activity. Of course, it is a Tuesday and not the weekend. Check out this island here. Um, you can see how shallow it is, but almost has like a Caribbean feel to it where you can see the different colors of the water as we pass by. But yeah, we gotta watch very, very carefully here as we pass because it goes straight up to one foot Otherwise, below us was about 33 a little bit ago. Now we're at eight feet below us. Um, but shallow either side. Almost ready to enter the Trent Severn Canal on the north side here. Not sure what this island is called, but it looks dangerous. Up ahead, we enter the uh, Trent Severn here for lock uh, 42. Uh, McGregor on the water, Marina is right there on the left. We just passed two boats, two big boats. So they've been all waiting for the railroad bridge, which we may be waiting as well, we'll see. Um, but uh, in we go, we can see the rock sticking out of the water there. So yes, I'm glad we have channel markers here for all this um, skinny water.
already working on the bridge. For the lock right now, lock 42. Very, very pretty scenery here. Um, we got about four feet below our boat, water, about eight feet total from total depth right now, about eight feet. Looks wider, looks deeper. Yeah, but it's not. Sixteen. We we set up for the starboard side. We set up for starboard. Our fenders are starboard. Aloha, lock 42. It's a good size lock. You can see the drop ahead of us. Um, Alex is holding on. The Red Rover is next to us. I can believe another looper boat. We've not met them yet. Um, there it is right there, lock 42. So you can see the um, lock 
Since we're dropping her. So we were just notified there is a swimmer in the channel, and I don't know if it's a child or an adult, but we have that green marker there, and we've got to be very careful. And with their head underwater, they don't even hear us. It, it's very distracting for me, and I'm sure doubly for Zav. Um, just gonna have to be really careful here. I don't want to honk the horn and scare them. We're just gonna have to try to get over. I don't know if we can get over slightly. Yeah, I don't want to honk. He's he has got he, he he's an adult. He has to know. I don't know who mows, but whoever mows, it mows perfectly around those stairs. There's not a weed to be seen. Very impressive. Leaves are changing over here on our port side. So these look like um, all mobile homes, but nicely done with porches. And yeah, everything is nicely done there. Very cottage-like. Very nice. Over here, of course, you have stick built. So we have, we're passing two kayakers right here. Chilt, this is a child paddle boarder. We're passing Zav at two o'clock. I believe it's a child. Mm -hmm. And then a man here in the middle. Some people on the porch. They're bought bars right in their faces so they can't see us when they're seated. So this is the beach area, Zava, for those that aren't don't have waterfront. There, um, they can come to the beach here. Yes, this is the public access for that mobile home area. There's a husband and wife out there working, working in their yard, probably trying to get ready for the weekend. Very, very attractive. This house is either being refurbished or else brand new and being done. Mm -hmm. Canoes of it at 11 o'clock. So cute. Check out this house. They've got a caboose up there. That is so cool. That is so cool. Nice gathering place here in the front as well. But yeah, I love that. That's nice. That really cool. Cynthia's taking lots of pictures because every house seems to have its own unique things. Yes, true. So this is kind of concluding our day that we had Lake Simcoe in the morning and Aurelia. And then now we are past, I don't even know what lock we just did. 42. 42. And this one is for sale if anybody's interested. The slides always look fun, don't they? You always imagine climbing up and sliding down. Like they're just getting out of a hot tub. Somebody's in the hot tub. Having a good time spraying water. Alex, here's a sailboat. Most everybody has a motorboat, but somebody has a sailboat. See, look at that. I didn't even see her. Mm -hmm. 
That's an old uh, sign there with the lights. Somebody's mounted that and mounted a flagpole. That's an old one. Old signal post. Somebody got themselves a nice uh, boat garage here, Zob. Look at this nice boat garage. waiting pool or something right there sunk in the ground. A big old gray goose. Coming Zob up the way. Ooh, somebody's relaxing on their porch. Nice big picture window. rancher here is off. What's interesting is I don't see a, a way for a car to get up to that garage. Is it strictly just for the boat items? Must be. Unless he has unless he has a garage door on both sides. Both sides probably. He may be because when you look at it, there is a driveway on the other side. He must probably have a garage door both sides. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Very nicely done. Huh. You have to work move your workbench every time you open the garage. He's here all week. He's got me curious now, so I'm trying to see the edge to see, but you know what? The house is positioned in such a way I can't see, but I think it is. There's a boat here. I mean, a very nice house here. Railroad tracks beside us. Somebody's fishing with a child. So we have a cute little pontoon coming up. We have more kayakers beyond that. Very nice evening.
you. Oh, he's right. He's right. is over on the far right side in the brown house. The bridge is now turning. Look at that. It is turning. It actually moves faster, I think, because to me, this bridge is newer maybe than some. But look how quickly it's going. This is, to me, is some of the magic of the Trent 7 is seeing these bridges where you get to honk and they open for you. Now having said that, some friends of ours waited two hours for a train bridge to open, evidently. Another looper boat because I guess there were several scheduled trains to go through. This one's a road bridge. Here is a marina called Lauderdale Point Resort. And of course they have that lovely ice cream sign. Um, that we all love, that Kawartha ice cream. They've got a point patio, so it looks like maybe a small restaurant, and some covered boat garages, as well as um, tie up. Very nice. And we're getting ready to come out into another lake, which I think Zoff says we're going to anchor in tonight. So on this same little um, Point Lauderdale, they've got like a fire pit, they've got some picnic tables, nice areas around the outside edge that has some greenery, very nice. We're going out through this channel and then we see where we end up. Eleven minutes, 11 minutes to a recommended Duck, Duck Bay. Bay Cove. So hopefully we won't rock too much tonight because it looks like this could have some and it's supposed to rain tonight so that makes me a little concerned. Aloha and welcome to Sparrow Lake. We just came out of that little passage right there, the Trent Severn. There's a Sparrow Lake right here. It is quite shallow in parts again like most areas up here but there's supposed to be a nice bay called duck bay and that's where we're going right up there and the winds are supposed to be from the west so we should be quite well protected and going northwest we'll see how that works out for us but uh it looks like a protected bay and that's where we're heading to sparrow lake there was a marina right at the entrance of the trent Severn there Welcome to Shadows Cove at Duck Bay. Thank you for following our journey on the Great Loop here on the Trent Severn Waterway. We love all your comments and questions, so keep them coming. We will try to answer each and every one of them. We want to thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel and helps others find out more about the Great Loop. We will see you again next time as we continue west on the Trent Severn Waterway.